The invite made it clear painting would be part of the day and the way these mothers would be able to help spread a message that the Birmingham Jefferson County Transit Authority considers vital to our community. The BJCTA asked the moms to wear white to this photo shoot meant to honor and elevate a message of love. It's February, so it's a month where we focus on love. And what a better way than to show the love for our community than to stop violence and to make sure that those who have been through something uh, of that nature, that they are honored. Why Tangi Peak Finney has been through the worst of what comes from violence, the death of her 21-year-old son, Calvin Arthur Foster, in 2016. As I see violence happening around the city, it's like it just, it seems like that day just reoccurs all over again, you know, and it's, it's real traumatic. Why Tangi Peak Finney is our Senior Director of Planning, and she does so much at Max for us. And, you know, we just wanted to tell her story, and it, it meant a lot to us to have one of our own who has been through this situation, and that made it even more important to our CEO, Charlotte Shaw. And so she came to us and she said, this is the perfect time. Uh, with the recent issues uh, and the recent deaths, you know, this is the time to raise our hand and just say stop. It was December 21st, 2022, 12-year-old Adriana Minnie Pearson was killed when someone fired shots at her home while she slept. It struck a nerve in the community. It's very different when it's an innocent child. Waitangi told me that's when she got a call from their executive director. He said immediately she thought about me and the moms when we did the airing on uh, the news before. And uh, she said, I wanted to do something for our black history, bus wrapping, that would kind of be centered around all of our municipalities that we serve. That airing was the CBS 42 community conversation on gun violence through the eyes of mothers of murdered sons. Many of those same mothers with What About Us, a nonprofit parental support group founded by Cherie Kennan, are here in this room supporting each other with love, addressing the violence that has left the heart-shaped hole in their lives. So that's what these mothers are feeling. That's what I felt. I felt the sincerity in the room. I felt these women hard. I felt it. Now the BJCTA wants to help these mothers touch other hearts in our community and stop the violence in the name of love.